Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. In this video we're going to go over creating an element in our style sheet and then how we activate that element in our index.html. So first things first, this is from our last video. We set up a red background on our HTML which covers our whole website. We don't actually want that so I'm going to delete that for now. So in creating a website, you should first drop a design so you know what you're aiming for. So if I go to my file explorer, I've saved my design in my pictures folder. So looking at this, I know that this is how I want my website to look out. I'm going to have a nice large element at the top of my page that I'm going to call header, or I might even call it logo. Underneath that directly, I'm going to have my navigation or my menu, so I'm going across here. Uh, and then this is how I want the rest of my website to look. So first thing I need to do is I'm going to create this element here. So I'm going to go into my style sheet and I'm going to give it a name. So to do that I'm going to call it either a class or an ID. I'm going to create mine as a class so it will be a full stop. And then the element name I'm going to call mine logo. And once you've created the name for your element you need the curly brackets. So because we're just designing the website for now and we want everything to be visible, the easiest way to do that is to use background colors. Right, we're not trying to make our website look perfect at the moment, we just want to be able to see all of our elements and how it looks. So going off my design, I made it red, I'm just going to stick to that. So if I look at my design here, you can also see that it is the full width of the page. So I'm going to type in the width and I'm going to set it to 100%. Right, to go along with my width, I'm going to need a height. I'm going to make mine about 100 pixels. All right, now if we look at this, I've got my header here right up against the top of the page and hard to the left and the right. So I'm going to go top and I'm going to set that to zero pixels. And I'm going to go left and I'm also going to set that to zero pixels. Now for this particular website, I want my header and my navigation or my menu, I want these to always be at the top and not as I scroll down the page to lose them. I don't want to make it navigating much easier. So to do that, I'm going to use a position. Right, and I'm going to call it fixed. Right, and that will simply stop this particular element from moving as I scroll up and down my page. So if I save that, I'll now be able to go into my index. Right, so I've got my link here. So in order for anything to be able to display it on the website, I need a body for my website. Right, and this is going to be the very first uh, thing seen, so it's going to be right at the top. I'm going to create a div. Right, on our style sheet we use a full stop, which is a class, so it will be class. And then the name of the class that we created, which is logo. Right, and of course it will have a close div to close our logo. So I'm just going to put in a title for now. And I'm going to put that inside of a H1, which is a heading to make it stand out. And if I save that, and then I go to my V drive, and open up my website, Right, you can see now that I have a nice red box. Right, but you can also see that the title is over to the left of the page. That doesn't look very good, so let's move that. To move that, we'll go back to our style. Right, I'm going to put this underneath my position. I'm going to go text hyphen align. Right, and I'm going to center it. So if I save that. Right, go back to my site and refresh it. Right, so my title is now in the center. Right, so that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we create our own custom element in our style sheet.